All right, so today we're gonna do a how to skin a raccoon. So we've got it hung up here. I hang it just by one foot to start to make the opening cut. I always put the tail to my left side because I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna be using the knife on my right hand and go up like this. But first, once we got it hung up, we'll get it combed out. Uh, this one's got some burrs in behind the leg and uh, we'll just comb it all around, knock out a bunch of loose dirt and make, make sure that all all of the uh, burrs, anything, any matted fur is all combed out nice and get it nice and clean. So now that we got it combed out, we'll start, we'll start with a pelting knife and we're gonna make a line from the heel and we're gonna go about an inch and a half to two inches below the butthole and then straight up to the other heel. So it's, it's gonna be a straight line. So we'll just come right in and glide right up. I'm about an inch and a half below the butthole right here and just keep going straight right up to that heel so we have a very nice straight line here so now we're going to come to grab the tail and uh, we're going to make a cut called the money cut so you're going to come and go on each side of the butthole in a triangular shape so i just like i like to just come up the tail just a little ways and just start back a little ways and make a straight uh cut straight to the butthole and then once we get to the butthole we'll come around and go on either side and make a nice straight cut around it. So now we've got all that cut open. I like to come around the legs and we'll just go right around the legs and cut it open. Uh, when, you, when you cut it nice and straight around, it gives you a nice clean cut on the edge for when you are boarding it. So we're gonna come around to this leg and do the same thing. Just hook it around and get it all cut open. So now, just to get us started, we wanna be able to just pull it right off. So to get us started, we're gonna come right in by the leg and just work it, just cut open, just work open the uh, few a few inches here, just so you got something to grab onto. So we're gonna do the same on the top leg here. Just open it up, get it open a little bit, and that'll give you something to grab onto. Now, I'll set my knife down. You can just grab it, and pull right down. You just free up that entire leg. We're gonna do the same thing here. I'll grab the foot in one hand, grab the fur with the other hand, and just pull it right down. Now this this coon is a little cold. It was frozen when I caught it this morning, so uh, it's not gonna peel the easiest. Always, always skin uh, animals as fresh as you can. So it makes it a lot easier to skin them. But now that we've got both legs freed up, we wanna free up the tail. So. Just, just work around real slowly, just get to the tail. And now you wanna work underneath the tail bone. So just very carefully make cuts always closer to the carcass than the fur. If you're not sure where you're at, uh, just cut closer to the carcass than the fur. And once you get pretty close, you can take your finger and pop right through and you pull down and that'll open it up here. So now we're gonna take uh, this knife is just a uh, old knife with the tip broken off. It's not real sharp, but it's just sharp enough to cut fat. I don't, I don't keep it sharp so it doesn't cut the, cut the pelt. I don't put holes in the pelt with this knife. So uh, just sharp enough to cut the fat. Now we're just gonna start freeing up the tail. We're just gonna come and work around it real slowly and get it nice and freed up. So once we've got it down just a little ways, it doesn't take much, just enough so you can really get some room in there to get your tail strippers on. So uh, this is my tail stripper. It's a very heavy duty one. I got three different size holes here today for this coon. It's not that big of a coon, so we're gonna go with the medium medium uh, hole size. Now we'll just put it on the tail, grab the tailbone and pull down. Freeze the tail right up. You've got the whole tailbone removed from the tail. So then we're gonna get our our tail splitter and uh, just get that cut open the rest of the way so that the whole tail is open up. You gotta make sure you have that whole tail cut open by the time you get to, to the uh, boarding process. So now we're just gonna continue to free open the rest of the coon. We're gonna come to the belly and be very careful when you're cutting open by the belly here. The belly, it kind of makes a weird dip right in here and you might end up cutting a hole in there. If this was, this is a female uh, coon, but if it was a male, when you're doing your opening cut, you go right below the balls. So now that we got, got it cut open, just start pulling down 
And never pull with a knife in your hand when you're pulling. Make sure that you're not pulling with a knife in your hand. So, not, like I said, this coon is pretty cold, so it's going to pull a little tougher. But you shouldn't have to use your knife a whole lot going down, this, going down here. Uh, the sides tend to catch a little bit. But if you just grab with one hand and push down with the other, it should, it should open up real nice. So I'm going to set my knife down. Just give it a real good... Real good pull. And just keep pulling down, only using your knife when you have to free it up. So just keep working all on all sides as you're pulling down. Now I've got my dull knife again, and I'm just gonna come down and just start up higher than where you think the hide is. Now that it's, it's pretty cold, this one's not skinning as easy as it most would if you got it uh, fresh. But we're just gonna come around and slowly work around, and you're gonna get you're gonna get to the front arms here. You can see there's there's an arm here, and the other arm is right here. This is where most people struggle. You gotta come in between the arms and try to work work that pelt down, and make sure you're working down evenly. If you work down on the belly side, you gotta come to the back and work it down too. So keep working all the way around it. And there's a saddle that goes over the arms. It's a thin muscle membrane. So when you get to the arms, just cut through just the muscle membrane. Because if you cut too far, you might end up cutting into, into, your, uh, into your hide. So here you can see that muscle mes membrane that comes up here. And just cut through that, nothing else. Because otherwise you're gonna really struggle to pull that fur over the arms. So we're gonna pull down more on the back side here. Loosen it up. And I'm slowly pulling down with my arm as I'm working around, working around this coon. So now I take my thumbs and I just work in here underneath the arms. And now I just pop my finger right through. So I've got this leg open up. I'll do the same on this leg. Work my thumb through, pop it through, got my hole. And now you can just pull down until you can get your hand in there and push, push the arm down and pull or push the pelt fur down here and pull the arm up. So I'll do the same thing here. I've got one hand in here, get it open up a little bit. I grab it with my left hand and push down with my right and it pops right up. And we go all the way down to where the feet start. Then just take your knife and wring those right off and pop right out. So now our, our arms are plenty long. So we've got plenty to trim off if we, if we need to when we get to uh, the boarding process. So now that we've got the arms all freed up, we're just gonna keep slowly working down and we're gonna come up to the head here pretty quick. So just, just keep pulling. You gotta, you gotta do most, most of the work is pulling, not cutting. The cutting is just kind of freeing it up. So I'll be going around and this one was caught in a condor bear. So there's a little bit of damage around the neck here where the, the pelt is kind of smushed in. So you just gotta be careful. Uh, depending on how you, if you shoot it in the head or if you shoot it in the chest, just be always be careful working around those areas. You don't want to make any holes bigger than they are. So we're getting down a little way here. Now you can see where the neck is the skinniest right here. The neck is the skinniest. So we're going to come about, it's, depending on your coon, it's about an inch, inch and a half until you hit the back of the ear. So I, the back of the ear starts right here and I don't want to get right at the base of the ear. I like to make it just big enough so I can get my finger in. So you can see, uh, let me cut this open just a little bit so you can see. It's a pretty small hole right here that I've got cut open. The ear's not real big, but that's, that'll be good. Right about there, I'll get it cut perfectly. So now we've cut that hole nice and small, just big enough so I can stick my finger in and, and really uh, get it to work down. When you're cutting through the ears, you can see I just cut this one open, but you gotta make sure you cut all the way through. You can't just cut it open. You gotta get all the way through it to the back side so that the ear is completely free. So now I can stick my finger in it and pull down as I'm working. So we'll come to the mouth and you, most of this face is still pulling. Um, when, you get, when you get down a little ways, about another inch and a half past the ears, you're gonna come up to the eyes here pretty close. It's right as the head starts to really skinny up. 
is where your eyes are. So just be careful. If you want to switch back to a sharp knife, uh, at this point you can. Uh, I'll use this one. It's, it should be sharp enough yet. But the, you can see right here, if, it, if you can push in a little bit, that's where the eyes are. So you, when you start cutting, you want to start as high as you can and get in there and then just keep pulling down and work around evenly. We're going to come do this side, same way, right? Get it nice and small. And you might have to just work your, this, this, the mouth starts right where the eyes are. So you're going to have to cut in there and get the mouth open up too, as you can see we did here. And then we'll just keep, keep working down real slowly. Now, when you get through the eyes, you have to get, make sure just like the ears, when you get to the other end of the eye, you got to make sure you cut through again and you're down to the skull. If you just keep cutting, that eye will, uh, will get opened up pretty wide. So now I'm just grabbing it with one hand and pulling down with the other. And I just slowly work, work around with my knife angled straight at the skull. You're gonna dull your knife, which is why I use a dull knife. Uh, don't use your opening knife when you're doing this work because your knife will dull very quickly. So we're just gonna keep coming around. And once we get to the, the bottom jaw, not a lot of value, or there's no value in the bottom lip here, so we can cut that off just a little early. Uh, don't cut it way back right at the beginning of the mouth. Cut it down once a little ways so you have something to work with. But then that frees it up, and you can pull down and cut the nose off. And the nose, when you're cutting it off, you can leave pretty much as much cartilage. Once you hit cartilage and no bone, you can cut it off there. So that is the skinned, uh, how to skin a raccoon. Next, I'll throw it in the washing machine. Get it washed, hang it up to dry, and then it'll be ready to flush.